In anticipation for the World Book Day 2022, the National Library of Uganda has confirmed it will be hosting publishers, authors and libraries in a series of events leading up to the day on the 23rd of April, according to Adonia Katungusa, the Director of National Library of Uganda. It is one day and we are looking at a number of things through which you can change the lives of Ugandans. So as the National Library of Uganda, a lead agency in promoting the reading culture, like I said, we always have a series of activities organized in commemoration of this day. That's why we always start earlier and then climax on the day. Mr. Adonia says the library and partners will be jointly showcasing multiple books that have been published for and by Ugandans in bid to rejuvenate the country's reading culture. We are having an exhibition so that these libraries, these publishers, these authors can display to the, to the whole Uganda, to the whole population, what is in stock as far as Uganda is concerned. So they are able to go to, go to bookshop, to purchase them, to buy them. So that's why we are having that exhibition. The director acknowledges that Uganda's reading culture is still low and for different reasons. Still very low. We still have a long way to go. And to some extent, there are reasons, there are factors. Why? Do they have what to read? Are the books there? Like I said, these, these reading materials that we give to those libraries that I've mentioned, uh, ideally, they are foreign donated. Though, the, 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 those donations are based on our needs because we tell them we need in this area, in this area. So these donors, government partners, try to look for those materials that are. But when you look at the writing, maybe it is talking about the culture of the Western world, not our Ugandan culture. That's the difference. And Priscilla Nachito, an author, agrees. It's unfortunate that people don't read. There are a few reading, and some are reading for examinations. Even if he has, if the book has nothing to do with his teaching, his subjects, we will never read it. Priscilla has been writing for close to 40 years and has 24 titles to her name. For her, every penny she makes is not for her, but for writing books and spreading knowledge. Every money, every coin I get, I put in the second book. Because it's too expensive to print these books. It's too expensive. I haven't used this money for my cell phone or whatever. But every man I collect, I put in the, the books. For the 71 year old retired teacher, writing is her only tool to speak truth to power and cause change in contemporary society. Because of what is happening to our community. And I thought that writing would be the one giving the message to the people. The corruption, the stealing, the what, so many things. The bad behavior. If we are going to stop the bad, we have to be aware. And as the struggle to develop the reading culture lingers on, the Libraries Association of Uganda have developed an idea where everybody drops everything and reads for 15 minutes and for five years now running, it's already paying off, as Anit, the president, explains. All of us drop what we are doing and read beats, people who are cooking in the kitchen, ch kitchens of the schools, uh, beats um, as shopkeepers, beat everyone, we drop and read just for the sake of promoting the reading culture in Uganda. Robert Ndiamhachi for BTM.